in 2019 we were actually planning to migrate to hana and that's uh, when we will started uh, looking for hana hardware so ibm was uh, one option because we were already using ibm hardware then uh, there were two one or two more options we started evaluating different partners and uh, basically evaluations we decided and finalized to go with power 9 servers and along with uh, the servers we uh, finalized storage the uh, backup appliances sand switches and uh, suze operating system also the primary reason was actually uh, because we have been using this power platform for a long time and we realized that for all business critical applications is a most reliable platform where uh, you get much better life and these are very rugged and suited for these kind of business applications get a uh, much better performance uh, in terms of processing power and uh, basically there are so many different applications and uh, databases and so many different software where uh, the licenses is based on number of cores or processor so in that case you get advantage in terms of license cost also so that was uh, the primary reason that we chose uh, ibm as a partner so we bought all kind of servers hardware everything uh, for disaster recovery side as well as data center i'll tell you the first the need for this migration so nai was uh, working on various uh, digital initiatives and uh, the initiatives were mainly around uh, manufacturing supply chain marketing the uh, hr and various other areas so for these digital applications hana actually provides you with a digital core with, with its integration capabilities across platforms it came very necessary for us to migrate to hana as soon as possible so if you ask me what uh, things have been optimized and uh, what in we have witnessed out of this so i would say we implemented uh, certain mobility oriented solutions in manufacturing like maintenance teams are now equipped with uh, mobile apps uh, and record their preventive and breakdown activities in the system while working on the equipment earlier this workmen were working on this maintenance activities used to carry a paper based task list list of activities they used to record all the activities on paper and then somebody used to uh, key in all this activities in the system manually and later on this uh, document used to be scanned and uh, uploaded in the system now the workman himself carries the tab uh, with them and records all these activities in the system directly so it's a, a huge uh, improvement in the process and similarly uh, in quality inspection also our quality assurance team they used to uh, carry paper based uh, sheets on assembly lines to record around 25 30 characteristics uh, throughout the ship time on all the lines they used to record all the uh, results on paper same way they used to uh, key in those data into excel files for generating a uh, customer test certificates now uh, what's happening is again there are uh, they are carrying uh, tabs with them and recording all these audit results into the tab directly so uh, it is i can tell you the amount of paper i am talking about is running uh, into hundreds of papers per day one plant and across plants we are saving all paper to the tune of thousands of papers this is not only saving on paper but uh, the turnaround time has increased the human productivity has increased uh, tremendously apart from this uh, we have implemented certain uh, basic uh, analytical, uh, analytical dashboards you can call them like 
generally sales related inventory slow moving non moving maintenance quality so many different areas we have done uh, this is actually a result has resulted in visibility better visibility and daily work management So as I said, we have been working on various uh, digital initiatives. Manufacturing, we are working on IoT platforms and supply chain, marketing, so many other areas. So in fact, uh, we had again a requirement of hardware in September. So uh, we again uh, bought some hardware. Uh, we've been working on various other digital initiatives, which few are under implementation and you are, few are going to start. With IBM itself, currently we are working on few manufacturing initiatives where we are going to change our process from discrete manufacturing to repetitive. Because few significant process improvements will be there. Simultaneously, we'll be working on line-wise costing or actual costing, you can say. Other area which is identified is a warehouse automation. The talks are on with IBM and uh, I hope uh, this is going to close very soon and uh, we'll start the project, uh, we say in April sometime. So as I said, like we were already working on uh, various uh, digital initiatives long back and uh, during this pandemic actually what happened was we were about to go live and this uh, lockdown happened even like in the march uh, last uh, last year when we were in office we didn't know that we will not return back for one year so that was the situation but ultimately uh, very soon we realized that this lockdown is not going to end very fast so we immediately took decision to go live with hana after a few days, uh, or you can say within a gap of a few days, we started rolling out our uh, projects on uh, process enhancements related to this uh, mobility, digital signatures, and so many other things were there. In the meantime, as I said, uh, already working on uh, digital manufacturing projects. So we started working on uh, this uh, project uh, kickoff. Now we are at a stage where it is uh, going to go live in phased manner in different manufacturing divisions. So our, all the manufacturing machines are now connected and we, are, we have started getting the data. This uh, project is going to go live. We are also working on a supply chain solution for our demand planning, supply planning, production scheduling, we are working on uh, digital HR solutions. So these are all uh, in the pipeline, or rather I would say these are uh, going on under implementation. During this pandemic, as most people globally were forced to work from home, you know, a number of threat vectors have increased uh, many folds. This, all these cyber criminals are trying to find new ways and means to exploit people and systems vulnerabilities. We saw a big giants without naming anyone being attacked. Uh, we can say if talk about cybersecurity, nobody say whatever steps or measures you take. Weak passwords, phishing, social engineering are these uh, most common uh, means to exploit uh, these vulnerabilities. Just to stay safe from uh, all these threats, we started getting uh, threat intelligence inputs from various uh, sources. Like, take action on them immediately. You can say we have blocked more than 20 million uh, IPs since this pandemic happened. So many things we have blocked just to uh, stay safe from all these threats. In uh, said like this weak password is a big problem. So although we already had strong password policies in place, 
But just to add extra layer of security, we implemented two-factor authentication for remote access of our network. Uh, to spread awareness among people, we started uh, online trainings during this lockdown. We started implement, uh, imparting training in various batches to all the people with multiple sessions. And phishing attacks, as I said, is the uh, biggest threat to talk about ransomware attacks. So earlier also we have done these simulated phishing attacks and again we did that uh, during lockdown. Conducted simulated phishing attacks just to uh, spread awareness about phishing mails uh, among all the people. Currently we are working uh, with one partner on the cyber risk assessment. This is going to be completed very soon. Uh, this is uh, across 20 domains. Purpose of uh, this cyber risk assessment is to assess the maturity level of uh, this our company and uh, come out with a roadmap for next two to three years. What all things we have to do to strengthen our cybersecurity. 